Welcome back to Frontline News. I'm Javon Keys. It's now time for Frontline Business. Caribbean Airlines has asked its majority shareholder, the government of Trinidad and Tobago, to guarantee a 65 million US dollar loan to help keep it afloat in the coming months. The company's revenues have been hit since borders closed in the region and on its North American routes to contain the spread of COVID-19. More in this report from Kimberly Broderick. Caribbean Airlines fleet has remained, for the most part, grounded since the surge in coronavirus cases in the Caribbean. Its cargo business is still operational. The Trinidad Express newspaper was told that Caribbean Airlines' request for proposal for the 65 million US dollar loan was sent to the Ministry of Finance before the COVID-19 pandemic. The airline, which is 84% owned by the TNT government and 16% by the Jamaican government, is reportedly seeking a government-guaranteed loan which the airline would finance. Caribbean Airlines' inability to generate revenues from selling seats to regional and international passengers is impacting the entity's cash position, as has occurred with many airlines across the world. According to the Trinidad Express, Caribbean Airlines has just enough cash to pay its employees until the end of this month. The newspaper was told that the airline sent most of its pilots on vacation leave this month. Chairman of Caribbean Airlines, Shamir Mohammed, confirmed that the entity is seeking support from the government, which he hopes will come through by the end of the month. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline Business. American Airlines Group late Sunday said it would suspend more flights in and out of New York City's three main airports for about a month, joining other airlines that have cut flights to the area following a spike in COVID-19 cases. Now between April 9 and May 6, American will operate a total of 13 daily flights from New York's JFK and LaGuardia airports and New Jersey's Newark, down from an average of 271 daily flights across all three airports airports a year ago. David Seymour, American Senior Vice President of Operations, told employees that demand for flights to the New York area is rapidly evaporating following an increase in COVID-19 cases and a recent advisory from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention's warning against all non-essential travel to and from New York, Connecticut and New Jersey. United Airlines on Saturday also said it was reducing its daily New York City area flights to 17 from 157, while JetBlue Airways is cutting its schedule by as much as 80% and Spirit Airlines is cancelling all its flights to the area. Now, aircraft maker Boeing on Sunday announced it will extend the suspension of production at its Washington state facilities until further notice amid the COVID-19 outbreak. The largest U.S. plane maker said on March 23 it would halt production at its Washington state Twin Isle jetliner factory as a temporary measure to help fight the COVID-19 outbreak. Production had been expected to resume early this week. Boeing will stop paying about 30,000 production workers this week in Washington state after it previously doubled to 10 days the amount of paid leave it gave to production workers after the suspension. Now over to stocks. In Monday's trading session, the JSC combined index advanced by 3,244 points with less than 400,000 units trading. Overall, market activity resulted from trading in 79 stocks, of which 42 advanced, 26 declined, and 11 traded firm. The junior market index advanced by 47 points to close at over 2,000 units. Stocks advanced for 1834 Investments Limited, Caribbean Assurance Brokers, Caribbean Cement Company Limited, Caribbean Cream and Carreras Limited. Stocks declined for 138 Student Living Jamaica, Barita Investments Limited, Caribbean Producers, Jamaica Limited, First Rock Capital Holdings, US Dollar Shares, and ISP Finance Services Limited. Trading firm were AMG Packaging and Paper Company, Cargo Handlers Limited, Derrimont Trading Company, Epli Caribbean Property Fund Limited, SCC, and Iron Rock Insurance Company. Trans Jamaican Highway Limited was the volume leader with 10.3 million units followed by Wigton Wind Farm Limited Ordinary Shares with 8.5 million units and Trans Jamaican Highway US Dollar Shares with 3.7 million units. And now, the foreign exchange.
Russia and Saudi Arabia are very, very close to a deal on oil production cuts, according to the chief executive of Russia's sovereign wealth fund, RDIF. Brent crude fell 3.31%. Nine cents to settle at thirty dollars fifty four cents a barrel. West Texas Intermediate WTI fell two point eight six percent or seven cents to settle at twenty seven dollars fifty three cents a barrel. And that's it for Frontline Business. I'm Javon Keys. Pleasant viewing.